Motorhead Garage is back and it's an uplifting experience. As the team ties one on, packs it in, and lays it all out for a new season. Welcome to another great season of Motorhead Garage, brought to you by Topco. Now, how do I know it's going to be a great season? Well, look around. It's Motorhead Garage, incredible vehicles. We got a new incredible sponsor in Topco and incredible co-host. We got Dave Dobson with us. Now, Dave, you're a car guy. I'm so excited to have you here this season. Well, I'm, I'm excited too, and I do have to correct you. I'm the guy with the incredible co-host, but I appreciate the compliment just the same. Yeah, you know what? Well, you got a radical ride to check out in this Hummer. This thing's incredible, so you have at it. All right, I'm going to get to work. Clint's here from Radical Rides, and the name kind of says it all. This Hummer is amazing. Tell me about this vehicle. <laughs> well, Dave, uh, first off, we wanted to build a, uh, build a Hummer that was going to get your attention. And, you know, whether you, whether you like this truck or not, you're going to look at it. And, yeah, the thing that stands out immediately is the lift kit. This thing's, how high is the lift on this? <laughs> yeah, Dave, this is 12 inches. It's, but it's not as big as you've gone, right? No, no, we've, we've definitely done bigger, probably 16 or 18. I mean... Uh, too, too big in South Alabama, it's no, not really such a thing. I've been there and I've seen it, and you see a lot of vehicles that don't look like they're real stable when they're raised that much. Uh, how is your system different than what you see you know, from well, Joe Blow's well, backyard job? Well, of course, it really boils down to experience. I mean, our, our attention to detail is second to none. So, I mean, yeah, you're going to get the job that we would put on our own vehicle when you bring it to us. What kind of things do you have to be cognizant of when you're raising a vehicle this month? Oh my gosh, there's, there's everything. Uh, there could be exhaust, there could be drive shaft angles, there could be pinion angles. I mean, there, there's just there's so much that you have to pay attention to and there's just no way of knowing how detailed and how far you have to go until you get in there and it all just boils down to your experience level. And thanks to you guys at Radical Rides, I don't need to do that myself. How do I start the process if I want to, if I want to do something like this or something you know, beyond this? Well, of course, Dave. First off, you could just go to our website to get an idea, but if you're really ready to get started, they give us a call. We would probably ask you some questions, get your taste, your uh, exactly what you're looking for, and we could put together a package that would work for you. How much of what you do gets sent out, and how much do you do in-house when people want something done with their vehicle? It's probably 50-50. Uh, we do everything in-house, but we may send off a few things here and there to get done. But everything's going to be covered with what we do the best, and that's just giving everybody a quality part. Perfect. And it's, it's got to last because it's on a, that's right. on a vehicle. How do I know that the stuff I'm getting from Radical Rides is, is high quality and it's the right, right piece? Well, I, honestly, the easiest way to tell you that is because we've installed everything else. <laughs> so we, we know what works and what doesn't work. What you're getting on your truck is what we'd put on our own truck. That's, a, that's the best endorsement ever. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the, we talked about the lift kit. Now, another thing that's very obvious on this vehicle is the lighting. Sure. And that's a, that's a really complex project. A lot of folks like to do it. It's not always the, the easiest DIY job. Tell me about the lighting systems you guys can install. Well, when it comes to lighting, however many lights you think that you want, double it. <laughs> Lighting's huge right now. Lighting from your from headlights, uh, LEDs, HIDs, um, underbody, you, you name it. Interior lighting is it, huge. We we do a ton of lighting every single week. Now, of course, this is the Hummer, and they don't make these anymore, so this is a, a big attraction wherever you go for sure. Absolutely. One of the biggest things you do, though, is Jeeps, right? Oh, yeah, Jeeps. We've done more Jeep work in the last two or three years than I've done in probably 16 years. What is it about the Jeep that sort of captures people's fancy when they want to customize or modify? Well, it's the, it's the most accessorized vehicle on the road. Uh, there's, there's so much offered and so much made for a Jeep. Uh, I, I, everybody wants a Jeep, you know, and, and obviously us living on the Gulf Coast, why not have a Jeep on the beach? Sounds perfect to me. Now it's, of course, not just four-wheeled vehicles. You do things for, for regular cars as well, right? <laughs> yeah, Dave, I tell people all the time, uh, you know, what do you want to spend money on? That's, that's what we do. Now, vehicles like this look great in the sunshine, of course, riding on the beach, like you said, but nighttime is uh, where it really puts on the show here. That's right. This one operates by remote, so you can, can do this while you're riding along, and uh, what can I do with this? <laughs> yeah, Dave, I mean, the sky's the limit, and uh, pl plus you can also Wi-Fi onto your Bluetooth it to your cell phone, so, I mean, you can control it from anywhere, and uh, yeah, you want to light the world up or light the road up, <laughs> this is how you do it. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit with these lights. The sky's the limit with things you can do with Radical Rides. So check out their website and uh, see what you can do with your vehicle. Make it radical. We've got more Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat coming up right after this. 
Motorhead Garage, presented by Top Coat, is brought to you by AP Laser, leading the way. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radios since 1977. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by Top Coat, make life easier. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by Top Coat. Well, I just bought this 2006 Xterra a couple of months ago, and I'm looking under the hood. Everything's in good running order now, but I've seen a lot of clamps and hoses that are eventually going to go bad. I mean, this thing's 13 years old. My only option, of course, is to replace the hoses, but as far as the clamps go, it's the same old clamps, or at least I thought so until now. Nikki's here from Clamp Tight, and she's going to show us a better way. What can Clamp Tight do to help me out? Well, just to tell you a little bit about some of the clamps that are actually on your car, they are worm gear fed clamps. So some of the parts on them are not stainless steel, so eventually they are going to wear out. Also, it is creating a flat spot, which gives you more of an oval connection instead of a true 360 degree seal. And that's where Clamp Tight comes in. We have a tool that makes clamps out of wire that's 10 times stronger, 90% lighter, 360 degree seal as well. And it could do all kinds of wires, starting with the smallest here. What's the gauge on that? That's about a 32 thousandths size wire. And I see all the different wires you've used all the way up to the size of a coat hanger. And you have a larger tool that can even do nine wire. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Starts at nine wire and goes all the way up to OT4. That's amazing. Yes. And lots of different tools here. These two would be a model that I'm going to use probably if I'm a home mechanic, a hobbyist, that sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I see you have a larger tool that starts with this nine wire. Starts here. Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And we have the mini, which gets us into smaller places. Exactly. But this is your highest selling tool. What, tell me about this one. Yeah, we call that the MacGyver tool. That's the CLT-01. It's all stainless steel and has an aluma bronze nut. You're going to get a lot more torque with that one. And that one actually does all the way up to 62,000 size wire on a repeated basis. So it's really good for the guys who are doing a little bit more than just one or two clamps here or there. And I see it makes a great looking clamp. And you can also, by the way, if you're doing a resto mod or you want your car to look original, you can take the old traditional clamp and put it right over there, right? Oh, absolutely. You just take your tower clamp, mm -hmm. it slides right over. Or even the heat shrink and the gates clamps, this works as well. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see how it works. All right. So what I'm going to show you is a single wrap clamp. It's a little bit different than some of the other clamps that we've done. So what you do is you feed the wire through the roll pin, go across the top of the tool, so now what we're going to do is just wrap it around. And you go as many times around as you want to on this. So we're going to go one more time. Then you wrap it around the peg, across the tool, and around the other side. At this point, make sure that wire is in the notch. You're going to turn it just about a 90 degree angle and then start tightening it down. It's going to want to work its way free on this one. This one's really good if you have no overhead whatsoever, but you have plenty of surface area. So once you get it to that tightness, and you're going to feel it too, because it's not going to go anywhere once it's in there nice and tight. Keep tightening it down a little bit. Now to close it off, twist it, and then we're just going to cut it free. Then you can just trim these up a little bit here. And once you trim it up, it looks, looks yep. clean just like one of these. Absolutely. That's a perfect application for tight quarters, but the guys have plenty of room in the Nissan, so let's see what they're going to do over there. Okay, great. Well, Dave gave us a good visual inspection, and by all means, everything looks pretty good. But Kevin, you know, clamps, people don't understand what an important job they have to do. And if you see this air cleaner, I mean, it's tight, but it's still wiggling. That could be an air leak causing some damage. So you got a better way. Tell us about it. Absolutely. The problem with these clamps are you get those flat spots under, they're going to pop off. So we're just going to slide those off right now. Our clamp will seal to true 360 degree seal without any of those flat spots, so it won't pop off. So we're just going to run a wire through just like that, and we're gonna pull that tight. So one time around, we'll hold things that are low pressure, but that's not the case here. So we're gonna do that one more time around. Now there's all kinds of clamps on this vehicle. I mean, you get it run around there. We gotta talk about, I mean, the EVAP system. That's a small leak is a, a trouble code. I mean, air getting into there. What you're doing right there, you have a mass airflow sensor, which is actually calculating all the air that's going into the engine. So anything entering over there is not counted for. So this is huge, Kevin. Absolutely. So that's why we need to get that good solid seal all the way around. So you're wrapping it around twice. That's nice. So you're getting a good seal all the way through. 360 seal. That's what's important. Now we're not going to crush any of that, are we? No, absolutely not. It's a round wire applying even pressure. So you don't have to worry about crushing or compromising the hose or the, or the uh, clamp. So now we take our tool. We're going to stick our nose in just like that. Now that's amazing in itself. I mean, that tool, look at the space we have to work in. I mean, that's that. Is this your normal size tool or? 
Yep, that's our CLT-01 tool. This is perfect for all automotive needs. Now what if we have a tight space like the EVAP system over here? That's where you'll get the mini tool. You get in those really tight spaces on that one. So that's why we introduced that tool. So you're locking. So we're all locked in and we just start tightening it up. Cool. So you'll feel it get tight. It's just like a regular worm fed clamp. You'll feel it gets nice and snug. It takes a minute depending on the size of your hose. So, and you can see how it's kind of biting into that hose, giving it that true 360 seal all the way around. So just like the table, I mean, it's going to pull it back. We're going to tighten it, clamp it off. It's in good shape. So, well, you want to replace any clamp on a vehicle or any situation. Just go to clamptighttools.com and get them for yourself. We'll be back with more Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. Well, it's safe to say when you see a UTV and a Jeep in the shop, well, we're talking off-roading. But you know, there's a whole nother aspect to off-roading and that's getting your gear from point A to point B. And you need something durable and rugged to do that. I'm here with Pete from DDT. Now, Pete, who better to design something than ex-military? First of all, thanks for your service. I think it's incredible. You developed a great product. Tell us about the company, DDT. Well, I started it when I got out of the Army back in 2012. Um, our whole goal was to be able to create a high quality, affordable tactical gear product, something that's going to last for you and you know we stand behind with a lifetime warranty. Yeah, and who better to do that? Now tell us about the products itself. I mean, you got a whole line of stuff. Absolutely. So the big things about them is that we use 1,000 denier nylon with a Tech 70 nylon bonded thread, lockable zippers all the way around, so it's going to be comparable to your military spec stuff, things you would get issued in the military. I mean, that coupled with the lifetime warranty that we use makes a good combination. It sure does. Now, someone like me, I'm going to go and just buy a backpack. I mean, but I want it to last long. I mean, this is going to be very versatile. I mean, I can use it as well. Right. That's one of the nice things about tactical gear is it doesn't have just one specific purpose. I mean, as you can see right here, this is our uh, assassin sling bag and our night stalker sling bag, which can be used for multiple things. They have a holster in the back to be able to hold your weapon, anything like that. But a lot of people will use them as a first aid bag, trauma bag, you know, your larger trauma bag and a small little first aid bag, things that you can throw in the back of your Jeep that you can grab and go when you're off the trail somewhere and someone gets hurt. Now, speaking of Jeep, I mean, this is a perfect product for that alone. You have an actual team that uses this on a daily basis. We do. Uh, one of our team riders, uh, Light Bright Nation, they have a YouTube channel, uh, their Jeep Stepchild. They use this as their recovery bag. So this has everything in it from toe straps, winch lines, shackles, everything they need for all their recovery gear. And they love it. Uh, they have everything. They have, a, they have a couple different videos of them showing how to use it and everything like that. I mean, they, they just have a huge response from it. One, because of the size of the bag to be able to fit, you know, 30 foot ropes in here and things like that. Also the durability of it with the thousand denier nylon and everything. But also in the backside, if he does need to carry it anywhere, Kevin is really big on the fact of, hey, if I need to carry this, if I need to hump this in a mile, you know, I'm wearing it and it's comfortable with, you know, over Oversized lumbar pad, padded waist straps. We use a good EVA foam in the shoulder straps, things like that. I mean, he really loves it. You know, they use it all the time and they just take it and throw it right back in the Jeep. When they need it, it's good to go. Now, there's a couple other products you use on the Jeep, like the rear seat. Let's talk about the visor as well. We do. So some of our newer products that we just came out with, they are a Molly seat cover, rear seat cover to be able to, it's Molly webbing all the way around. It comes with uh, several different utility pouches that you can put whatever you need to in it. Move them from top to bottom, move them around, take them off, put other ones on that you need. Uh, so it makes it really versatile, as well as the visor cover. It's a tactical visor cover. You can flip down. It holds your pens in it, holds flashlights, tack lights, all that kind of stuff. Great stuff for a UTV, too. Let's check it out. Absolutely. Well, when you're dealing with the UTV, everything has to be rugged. The UTV itself, but more importantly, the equipment that you're dealing with. Pete, man, you got some other equipment. Tell us about this one. We do. So the Anti-Venom 24-hour bag, this is one of our most popular bags. We sell a ton of these, and a lot of it is because of its size and its versatility. Just like all the other bags, 1,000 denier nylon, Tech 70 nylon bonded thread. In the front pocket here, you've got a holster. So it will hold a small weapon, it's padded, and you can throw your holster up there. They're just a great bag to be able to throw in the back of your side by side when you're out. And then when you want to stop and do whatever you need, you take and throw it over your shoulder. This is the same bag. This is our, our Drifter Urban 24-hour bag. So a little bit less tactical, less aggressive, a little more gray man. This is our Urban line. Same bag, just with all the molly webbing and everything removed. So you don't stick out quite as much if, if that's your... Got to be super strong. What's a warranty? Everything with our logo on is a lifetime warranty. Um, we stand behind it. It's a very simple warranty. You don't have to register it. You don't have to keep your receipt. If it's got our logo on it, we'll warranty it. Great. I could use this one on the airplane. Now, I also see you have some canine products. Tell me about this vest. We do. So this is Sergeant Stubby vest. And this is our Patriot line. We also carry our American made line. We can try to name all of them after an American Patriot. So this is the Sergeant Stubby vest. He's the most decorated war dog in history, World War One. He's actually stuffed in the Smithsonian. So 
take a look, go check them out. And that's the cool thing. All your stuff has meanings. I mean, your wallet all the way to your bags. I mean, there's yes. something there. We try to name a lot of the products after these people who their light has faded over the years. That's pretty cool. Where can I find the product? Tell me about your website. So our website is ddt-ops.com. You're going to go click on locate a dealer, find a dealer near you, or one of our online dealers. Yeah, I'm going to go get me one, that's for sure. But you know what? Our co-host Dave, he's got a little baby and a boy. I may have to take that. Don't tell him. I'll use it for one of the presents, okay? Time now for Top Coats Tips and Techniques. You know, top coat and Jeeps go hand in hand, and we have an amazing following with Jeeps and top coat F11. And there's many reasons why, and as in a perfect example, what I'm going to show you, this Jeep obviously has the soft top, right? Well, it has this plastic glass, you know, in essence, Eisen glass, right? Well, top coat, the F11 is safe on all of this. Not only is it going to protect it, it's going to enhance it, but it's also going to help reduce that UV damage that causes that oxidation. And in particular, this Isinglass from turning yellow and getting brittle and cracking. So watch this. This is really great. And again, simple, easy, effective, right? All you got to do is just mist it on as normal. And I'm even going to go down further and do the plastic. Because again, there's a lot of plastic on Jeeps. So spray it on and start buffing it in. And actually, there's a little bird dropping here. I'm going to see if I can work that out a little bit. And I don't know how long it's been sitting, but... Look at that, starts pulling that out. Now I'm gonna do the actual canvas, okay? Bring that back, add a little more. Now I'm gonna do a final buff when I'm done, all right? But at the end of the day, I'm gonna work every one of these surfaces. Now, flip into my dry side of the towel because I wanna do a final buff. Now I wanna push that product into that pericity and shine it. And look at that. I mean, the results are just absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that difference. That is just absolutely incredible right there. So much so, I mean, I'm going to keep working on this. I just can't believe how well this is turning out. But again, that's one of the inherent benefits of top coat, is you get that beautiful shine, that beautiful rejuvenation, if you will, of that material. It doesn't matter if it's plastic. It doesn't matter if it's paint. You know, as we pointed out, eyes and glass. But if you want to learn more, you can always go to topcoat.tv. Motorhead Garage, presented by Topcoat, is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Exalta Coating Systems, we paint winners. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Mobile Environmental Solutions, the leading portable mobile paint booth. And by Danmar Equipment. Now you see it, now you don't. Now, a vacuum gauge is a good way to see what's going on with inside your engine. Now, you know, on the compression stroke, you're making compression, but on the intake, you're making vacuum, and you want to check the valves, exhaust. It does all kinds of cool things. I'll show you how I use it. Actually, unplug the brake booster right here. This is an excellent source of intake manifold vacuum. I'm just going to take the hose and put it inside of there. So when we crank it up, we're hoping we get some kind of vacuum and get a reading. I got somebody inside the car. So if you go ahead and crank it up for us. Perfect, man, this thing's got great vacuum. You're talking anywhere from 15 to about 26 inches of mercury of vacuum, that's good. Now, a couple of the readings. You can pull up this graphic right here. You can see the first one on the chart, that's actually normal vacuum, steady between 17 and 21. If you had an intake leak, well, then everything would be low. So you would see a steady but a low reading, somewhere between five and 10. You go around to the timing, ignition timing, and valves. That's usually indicated by a flicking valve. Something's going on with those valves. And last but not least, 2,500 RPM. Hold your accelerator there. If it slowly drops to zero, you got a problem with the exhaust. Vacuum gauge reading, man, this is a great way to diagnose your car. Well, it's always a good day here in the garage when we're surrounded by vehicles and a wide array of vehicles. We actually got a Jeep, we got a Dodge pickup truck, and a Chevy Suburban. And the good news is we got a mat to fit every one of them. 3D Max Piter's got us covered, Dave. Well, the first thing I want to look at, we're going to see the front. Well, let's take a look at the back. It's got this Max Piter backing. And normally when you have an aftermarket floor mat, it has the nubs on the back. They're kind of permanent. And after a couple of years, when you pull it out, it doesn't look so great. You put these in 
pull them back out, it'll look the same as when you put them in initially. Yeah, it's going to hold them out as well. Now the front, man, this is an actual thermoplastic that looks like carbon fiber. They're defining elegance right here, man. This thing is gorgeous, and it does the job. It's got the little secure tabs, and it's form fit, man. It's scanned to fit. I'm going to install one right here. Super easy to do. I've got the one for the uh, Suburban. We'll get to that one later. Awesome. Well, this is actually the front mat. Let me show you the difference, man. We pulled this thing out, and we all know what happens with these. I mean, you got a carpet spot here. It's going to be gone. Flops around. Doesn't really hold in place. Not the way to do it. 3D Max, man, check this out. Davey, come over and give me a hand. This guy here, he's going to fit right in here. I really don't even need Dave. It's cut so well and scanned so well. It just flops right down there in place, which is incredible. You can see the form fitting on it actually got the actual matting in there so it has the actual protection for the feet and the sound deadening qualities alone and you can see the perfect fit that's in it now this one fits great so does our suburban 3d max spider mats come in three colors you can get gray tan or black as you see here in our suburban a lot of folks actually like the black because it contrasts with the interior of their vehicle and i, I gotta tell you i think i like it here in the suburban now this is a two piece for this particular model of vehicle. Here on these back captain's chairs, there's actually cutouts where the seat posts go down. It fit right around those perfectly. This front part fits perfectly as well because 3D Max Spider, they 3D scan all the interiors of the cars digitally and you can get one made specifically for your model. Well, when it comes to a Jeep, great floor mats are not an option, it's a necessity. Now we took our front ones, factory fit, dropped them in, they look phenomenal. A couple other features I want to show you back here in the back, they actually have the contour here that's raised, catches water, sleet, snow, hail, sand, whatever you want to throw at it, it doesn't make any difference. It's going to catch it, but it's not big enough where it's going to flop over and look bad after time, it's going to hold its form. You want to wash them? Well, take them out, simply get you some dish soap, wash them, don't use any harsh chemicals, let it dry, put it back in here, guess what, looking like brand new. Well, a name says it all. This is the Kegu series, and what that means is long-lasting, and this one fits the bill. Check them out on the web. Well, we had a great time today, and we hope you did too. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got a product you'd like to see on Motorhead Garage, be sure to email Jeff at masterstv.com. Thanks for tuning in to Motorhead Garage, presented by Top Coast. We'll see you next time.